Who's voting for Kamala Harris here? Absolutely no. 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 Not possible. There's nothing she can do or say for us to change our mind. Yes, these people are coming to accept that it is extremely bad. I believe you some of these people, nobody is showing up for Kamala. CNN also has an observation. Take a look at this. The business sector in the Arab American community, and I was really surprised this week to get an earful to hear them say that they would much rather either vote a third party, not vote at all, or vote for Donald Trump. And I'm telling you, it's, it's not obviously a significant sample size, but I cannot find one Arab American within my social circle in business or personally who have said that they will vote for Kamala Harris. When you look at the polling, it seems sort of neck and neck. What they are saying, and this is not a Donald Trump campaign line, that Tiffany Trump's father-in-law, who's a Lebanese businessman, has been successful in kind of converting and talking to people to explain why Trump would be better, even with a Muslim ban, even with everything else that has happened. They feel they do not have any political clout. They don't have any political operation. The only political power they have is their vote, even if it means the rise of Donald Trump. That's extraordinary. Yes. You're talking to uh, a much. lot of voters. And I will just say that you texted me right around the Democratic convention and you said, I am talking to people and Kamala Harris has a problem with black men. Yeah. And I told the campaign I did not hear from them. I mean, who am I for them to get back to me? But th there's a problem. And I, look, I went to from battleground state to battleground state. When they invited me to the convention, I didn't just want to fly there. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and talk to voters in battleground states. And I did. It was not curated. I went up to people just doing man on the street. I said, who are you going to vote for? Black men. And time after time after time, they said, I'm voting for Donald Trump. Why? Now, there are reasons why. They said because most of the time they said, well, you know, for economic reasons, right? Or because he gave me a stimulus check and I had to correct them over and over. Yes, I just love the fact that the mainstream media is coming to a conclusion that no matter how they have struggled to make Trump to look bad, a lot of people still look at him differently. They are sharp. Don Lemon went on the street. What he saw, he could not believe himself with black people. Looking at Michigan now with the Muslim community, the same thing is happening. They are sharp. They don't go in to focus, ask like what is going on. Instead, they continue to attack Trump on a daily basis. I don't know if this Democrat actually realizes what is happening here. At a certain point, I thought they would stop it and focus on other things that can convince voters to change their minds. But till they did nothing. If you love what I'm doing here and you want to support the channel, please share out the videos and away thumbs up if you see my notifications. Sometimes people tell me, oh, I don't see your notification. Please check if your notification is on. I'm in the... This isn't a Republican Party right now. No. And they know it. So there are those who were like, wow, this isn't the party I recognize. But what's the permission structure? Are you hearing it from any of your Republican friends in the business community um, that can be created for a vote for Kamala Harris at a time like this? You know, I, I talk as we all talk to a lot of uh, people who vote for Trump and I and I say to them and I, 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 it, I still can't figure out. Do they not believe it or do they not care? <clears throat> do they not understand that our freedom is on the line? Do they not get that or do they just not care? Do they take freedom for granted at this point? You know, when you hear a Mark I, I Milley, so, yeah. a man who has served this country, a great man, Joint Chiefs of Staff, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, literally say, who's been in the room with him and say he is a fascist to the core. My name is Breyer. I'm six years old. I live on a farm in Massachusetts. What's your favorite farm animal? Favorite farm animal. What is it? I, and, and I challenge people and I say, you do understand that he will, he will turn on this country and he will turn us into hungry. Do you not understand the freedoms that started as you brought it up? It started with Roe v. Wade. It will continue. It will continue by putting his enemies in jail. It will continue on having unfree media. Are there people around this table that are really worried? Rev, are you worried going forward that you're on a list if Donald Trump is elected? Yes or no? Um, 
convinced I'll be on the list. I, I uh, am I too. Mean, I don't know how we're not going to be. And here. think about that. This is America. This is the United States of America. And people in the media, like the Rev, have to be concerned that they may be on a list. I have people saying to me, Donnie, are you worried? This is America. And yet people will still give permission to vote for Donald Trump. What's wrong with us? I'm gonna cry. Uh, you have a visitor, dear. But I don't know anyone. Fake news. You know, it is extremely funny how these people just struggle to create fear. Oh, I'll be on the list. I'll, what have you done? If you are not guilty of something you've done, why should you be panicking on TV like this? The main thing these people are struggling to do, it is just to create fear into people's mind. Like Trump is the most dangerous kind of person, you know, to... Trump was there for four years. We didn't see anything. I don't believe it is now that the... In fact, it's the same talking point that we saw in 2016. So when I see MNBC, you know, trying to melt down like this, believe me, if Kamala was trashing Trump, like winning, you would not see this people do this. It is because of the nature of the polls that have seen that, oh, Trump is winning and... It is causing them to be melting down this. The interview was conducted by Brett Baer. <laughs> Do you know this guy? I must say, I, I have him pegged wrong. I'd always heard about him. I don't watch Fox News that much, so I didn't know. I thought he was, they kept saying, he was the most legitimate uh, journalist on Fox News. No, actually, he was a huge asshole. I, I uh... <laughs> No, I'm not saying that. That's, that's extraordinary. Yes, before we go into this clip, B. Maha is not having it. I believe you saw that interview on Fox News. I don't understand why Libras are he freaking out till today. He had a show, according to this tweet, B. Maha called Fox News uh, which act after Kamala completely fell apart during her interview with him. They kept saying he was the most legitimate journalist on Fox News. No, actually, he was a huge... I'm not saying that in a partisan way. I'm just saying he was tough in his journalism. And then he was just a huge... Oh, I think there are a lot of folks such as myself who think that Donald Trump's unpopularity is baked in. But here's the deal. If you believe that Donald Trump has somehow become less popular over time, let me change your mind about that. In fact, he is more popular at this point in the campaign than he was at this point in the 2020 campaign or the 2016 campaign. Look, he's still underwater, right, with a negative nine point net favorability rating. But that is higher than he was in 2020 at minus 12 points when he nearly won. And it is way higher than the minus 27 net favorability back in 2016 when he did win. So I think there's this real question in Kamala Harris's mind, in the campaign's mind, why is Trump more popular now than he was at this point in 2020 and 2016? And I think that is why you're seeing the sharpening attacks because they want to put him back down to here, yeah. or even there's no way that they're necessarily going to back down to here, but they want to make Trump more unpopular than he is right now because he's more popular now than either point in 2020 or 2016. So you might still be wondering why the murder down just because of this. Why is Trump popular upon all what we have done to him? struggle to lock him up, struggle to attack his finances, struggle to, you know, from one after another, and they are never stopping. Even today, or I think it's yesterday, Jack Smith had to go for that to <laughs> I have never seen how desperate people can be. Kamala Harris visiting. You lost the popular vote. Popular vote. Donald Trump is all over the place right now, both